Okay, welcome to the Monster Game Pests for the AQA 2012 COM1 exam. Um, and what we're going to be looking at today is how we can change the number of times the monster moves. Um, it really is simple, this one. Just changing a couple of things. So I reckon it's a bit unlikely, but a variation could come up, so you need to be familiar with this bit of code. Changing it three times, changing how the monster moves. I'm not quite sure how. Maybe allowing it to move diagonals changing the priority because at the moment north south is the most important and change it to east and west I don't know why you'd want to really um, in fact maybe that's one of the reasons why I've recorded this because this is kind of a pointless um, change in terms of the gameplay so let's have a little look at the code um, we're in play game and it's this little section here this little loop and it's only happening if the monster's awake and you haven't been eaten and the flask hasn't been found. So that's uh, that's when this section of code runs. And basically we've just got a little loop that runs the make monster move uh, um, procedure. And then basically checks if you've been eaten has this absolutely horrendously annoying press the end key which I'm sure you're aware of and in fact I'm going to comment that out now just to make our lives um, tolerable and basically it moves twice because it loops through twice starts at zero, counts one, counts two and therefore this section of code gets run twice simple as that so if we want to make the monster move once we just change that to one uh, now in terms of me um, testing this, uh, in, in order to make the monster move I obviously need to run a, a trigger a trap. So I'm just going to add something to the uh, code to tell me where a trap is just so I can uh, just so I can test this. So up here in, um, back in the menu, I'm just going to add a line. Sorry, I did this a bit cheekily just so I could do it quickly. Um, basically I'm writing a right line and all I'm doing is putting trap position number of cells east, I'm just doing the first one I could do it for both of them but I really mm -hmm. just need one trap there and for the south, that way I've got the coordinates of at least one trap so let's quickly run this, start a new game oh brilliant, look what that trap position is, 1, 2 so um, I said east first, south, so basically I've just got to go south now make sure my cap locks are on, otherwise it won't work so I should hit a trap straight away um, I have and you can see that the monster's appeared oh no, you've set off a trap my window's a little bit small for some reason um, you've set off a trap, now the monster's awake and it's made the first move because th that's what happens and the thing is now if I go south, the monster moves once, see it there, south again, still moves it, move north, move north, so we've got a stalemate position, so this is absolutely pointless in terms of gameplay, maybe that's maybe that could be a question, I don't know, um, certainly if you change the monster to three moves, so I'm just move east just so that we get eaten, um, and certainly if we made it so the monster can move three times, that makes it really tough. Um, so, to make change the number of times the monster moves, that little uh, value there, um, and that is about it for this pest. It just changed one number. Um, probably just while I'm on this, I think there's a real likelihood that something could come up about this little flask position. I think I might record that. I know it's not on my list of pests, but I think I'm going to uh, add an extra pest on about what happens to the flask position. So we've got this lovely little situation where I've got a follower variable, and I think the flask position could get placed into a random position, but that's for another pest. We've only a few days left till the exam, so hopefully you're all um, feeling pretty confident about this code now.